Hi, I'm Tom with Learn PDR Online, and in this video, I'm going to answer one of your questions. So I recently did a, a video, A Day in the Life of PDR, where I attempted to take a dent out of the leading edge of an airplane wing. Now I couldn't get it 100%, and one of the questions asked was, if I cannot remove a dent fully, do I still charge for my time? So in this video, I'm going to give me my own personal preference on whether I will charge for a repair if it's not 100%. So stay tuned to find out more. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and you'll stay up to date with the next video we do. So stay tuned. Now to answer the question about whether or not you should charge, um, to be honest, at the risk of skating around the answer is a personal preference to you as a PDR technician. So I will generally assess the dent before I attempt to do the repair. And as I have a bit of experience, I usually have an idea whether I'm going to get it 100% or kind of 90, 95% or whether it's not accessible or not possible. And if I'm working retail, so out in the general public, I will normally have that conversation with the customer because the number one rule is to meet your customer's expectations. So if you tell the customer it's gonna be 100% and then you can't quite get it there, you've not done your job. Um, likewise, if you advise that you think it's potentially only gonna to get to 90%, if they are then happy to uh, proceed and go along on that basis, then the customer's happy, and if you do get it to that 90% or above, then you've exceeded their expectations. So it is a bit of a personal preference, um, and as I say, I will assess each dent job on its own merit. So it, with the airplane wing, for example, because I hadn't ever personally worked on a plane before, I didn't know the accessibility and whether or not I was able to remove it fully. So I did have that conversation with the owner or the pilot, um, and just explain to him that I'm happy to spend a bit of time on it and give it my very best on the basis that it will be as good as it could be. If I couldn't remove it to a level he was uh, satisfied with, then I would not charge for that repair. I will only charge a customer for a repair if I know that they are happy with the work that I have done. So sometimes my 100% might be slightly different to a customer's 100%. Generally, most uh, retail customers, uh, private vehicle owners, um, who aren't trained in paintless dent repair, don't have quite the same kind of level of detail that a PDR technician might have in terms of the repair. So my 90% may well be uh, a customer's 100%. But without, you're not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes, you're just trying to be upfront with your own ability and skill set. Um, if I do not think that I will be able to get a dent to a satisfactory standard where the customer is going to be happy, then I will not charge. But if it's not quite, in my opinion, 100%, but the customer is still happy and now I've met their expectations, then of course I'm going to charge them every time because I've had that conversation and the customer being happy is the primary aim in your business as a dent repair technician. So hopefully I didn't waffle on too much and was able to answer that question. Um, and as I say before, if you do have your own questions on paintless and dent removal, the, either the industry or the training, uh, please do leave your comments below. Um, send me any questions and I'll do my very best to give you the best answer that I can. So if you haven't already, um, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've liked the videos and find them informative, then please hit that thumbs up and you can hit the bell icon to get notified on the next video release that we do. So I'm Tom with Learn PDR Online. Thank you for watching.